actually is here. It? Are you guys ready for some football? Yeah. I think the fans here in Chicago are ready to go, but the fans in Oakland have something to be concerned about as we are following a developing story right now. The Antonio Brown saga continues. Ian Rappaport is reporting that Brown could be facing a suspension. He could be facing disciplinary action from the team after getting into an altercation with the GM, Mike Mayock, yesterday. Now, we do know that he is not at practice today. He is not in the building. We are waiting for Gruden to speak to the media. Mike Mayock did speak to the media a little bit earlier, just confirming that he wasn't in the building after this social media post on Instagram. AB posted the letter that he got, the disciplinary letter that said that he would face a fine for missing football in the preseason, and he was not happy about it. Here's Mike Mayock. Okay, short and sweet. Antonio Brown's not in the building today. He won't be practicing. Uh, I don't have any more information for you right now, and when I have some and it becomes appropriate, you guys will be, all get it, I promise you, but that's it for today. Thank you. Mike Mayak is clearly over this. He doesn't want this drama leading to week one against the Broncos. But do we kind of have a clearer picture now of what the Pittsburgh Steelers were dealing with that led to the trade? I don't think you ever really know the full story when you're on the outside looking in. Uh, but you, you hear some people in Pittsburgh talking the last few days. It's nice to be going into the season without the drama, the Le'Veon Bell drama, the AB drama that continue to surround this team. That it's nice to just have 53 guys that want to play football and want to compete for a championship. And I think you're starting to see that now. You know, the Raiders are going, hey, we're, we're all good. But there's a little more to this story all right, than we let's believe. Let's go out to Oakland where John Gruden is speaking to the media right now. Hey, how's it going? Happy to answer any questions I can. Uh, really excited about playing. John is uh, the Tony Brown suspended. I'm not going to get into any of that stuff right now. We'll uh, have a official announcement later, but uh, I'll, I'll be happy to answer any other questions. Did you see the incident yesterday after practice? Uh, like I said, I'm not, uh, not going to get into all of it. Obviously, uh, he wasn't here today, and uh, when we have some information for you, we'll, we'll give it to you. You have to start with practicing or preparing as though he might not be. Here. Yeah, and we've been doing that. Obviously, you've been at training camp, I think, for the last four weeks. We have been practicing without him and preparing to play. Uh, no matter who's injured, you have to adapt. And uh, unfortunately, we had to adapt again today, but we're really excited about our receiving core. What do you think about him posting the fine letter? Off? You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to get into all this. If you want to ask about the Raiders, I, I, I've been talking Raiders, about dude. I've been talking about the same guy every day. It's the first time I've seen you. But like I said, I don't have I don't have much to give you other than um, he's not here today. Uh, when we get an opportunity to give you some more information, we will, respectfully. Is the decision going to be made with you and Mark and the general manager? Yeah, I mean, we're still getting to the bottom of everything. So um, all I can do is comment on the football team. I'm out here on the field coaching the guys that are here, and we got a lot of guys working hard. So uh, we'll give you the information on Antonio when we have it official and correct and right. I don't want to speculate any further. Can't do it. More guys? So if, uh, obviously Denver coming to town, brand new team, uh, brand new quarterback. Uh, what problems do they pose for you guys? What do you see from them on tape? The little tape that we have, I guess, from the preseason and whatnot. And, uh, what do you expect from that matchup? Well, they're a good defensive team. We saw them twice last year. Fangio is one of the best defensive coaches, so they're preparing for a lot. They haven't shown much uh, with their personnel or with uh, their scheme like they did in Chicago. So uh, I know this, when you watch the Bears and uh, – you start using your imagination with Von Miller and Chubb and Harris and the players they do have. It'll be a very challenging uh, experience for us. We're excited about it. So John Gruden done talking about Antonio Brown. Mike Mayock done talking about Antonio Brown until they have an official decision and an official statement. But Peter Schrager, could the Raiders be done with Antonio Brown? Is there a scenario contractually where that could happen? Absolutely there's a scenario that could happen. His contract, the way it works right now, he's due $30 million, right? $1 million is guaranteed. 
$29 million of that, though, could be voided if they find that he's got, he's got detrimental conduct towards the team. He's not at practice right now. He uh, apparently threatened his general manager to a fight on the field in front of others. This could end really ugly and it could end really quickly if the Raiders want to move in that direction. All offseason long, Gruden's been the good guy, Mayock's been the bad guy. That's how they've played this. The dance is over. We got a game on Monday night. And if you're not there at practice on Thursday, there's a good chance you don't play on Monday. And if you're not there week one, that could be all she said. And if that is it, Amber, to think that Antonio Brown had put himself in this position where he has burned bridges with not only one of the crown jewel franchises in the NFL and their fan base, the Pittsburgh Steelers, but now another one, the Oakland Raiders, and burned through two of the 32 teams in the league. Who gave them in a, a chance? Of, in a matter of six months? Yeah. This is an epic, epic situation. I hope it all works out. But right now, it's looking bleak. Yeah, and it's disappointing. And when you hear Mayock and you hear Gruden talk, you can tell that they just done talking about it. Like, it's disappointing. We've had this guy's back ever since he stepped in the building, and he keeps on disappointing us, giving us but reason James, after reason the after reason. As a player, no, what are his and, that, and that's why I'm going, but you're giving him reason after reason after reason to just not want him to be there. And then as a teammate, it's like, man, we have stepped up to this podium all through hard knocks, all through training camp, battling for you, going to bat for you, saying how a good guy you are, a good teammate you are. It's game time now, man, and now you're bringing something else up, man. Everybody gets fine, all right? When you mess up, everybody gets fine. But it's time to be there for your teammates. Man, this is going on too long, and as a teammate in that locker room, I'm sitting there like, man, let him go. We got to win. We got to win without him. But the interesting thing, and we've been talking about it up here, is that this is the moment where there's 32 franchises that say we can end up in Miami. But now here we are on the eve of the first game, and one of our best players that we were building around this entire offseason, that we expected to be there for us just four days before our first game, and he's not here. And, and what that does to a locker room as far as deflating the excitement that you have, knowing, again, I know all the stuff off the field, but knowing on the football field, this guy is a huge game changer. Game and you expected changer. to have him and what that was going to mean for your football team. And now you're here and you're deflated a little bit going, and not only do we have the chaos of talking about it, but now we might miss one of our best football players. Who knows? For the first game for sure, but who knows if it's for the entire season. And you have to go back to all those Instagram stories between Derek Carr and Antonio Brown, the love affair that could have been, should have been. We don't even know if he will be out on the field uh, week one against the Broncos.